Let's talk about Fermat's theorem. Fermat's theorem states that if f of x has a local maximum or minimum at c, and if f prime of c exists, then f prime of c is equal to zero. So let's focus on the graph on the left. At this point, we have a local maximum. So the first part checks out. Now let's look at the second part. At point C, does f prime of C exist? We know the function is continuous at point C. There's no jumps or breaks in the graph. But is it differentiable? If the graph has a smooth turn as opposed to a sharp turn, it's going to be differentiable meaning you could take the derivative of this function and get a value for it. So the fact that it's differentiable at point C, that means that f prime of C exists at this point. Now, according to Fermat's theorem, if these conditions are met, if f of x has a local maximum at point C, and if it's differentiable, that means if f prime of C exists at that point, then the conclusion is that the derivative at that point will be zero. In other words, the slope of the tangent line, f prime of c, will be equal to zero. And the slope of any horizontal line will always be zero. So we could see the validity of that statement. Now let's look at the graph on the right side. So at point c, we have a local minimum. So the first part checks out. Now the next part, does f prime of c exists at point c? What would you say? We know it's continuous at point c. There's no jumps or points of discontinuity there. But is it differentiable at point c? The answer is no, it's not differentiable at point c. We don't have a smooth turn at this point, we have a sharp turn. Here, the slope is negative because the function is decreasing, and it's becoming more negative. Then instantaneously, the slope changes to a positive value. So imagine, let's put some numbers here. Let's say, let's extend the graph a little. So here we have a horizontal tangent. The slope might be 0. Over here, the slope might be negative 1. Over here, it's steeper, so it might be negative 2. Over here, it would be positive 2, because it's going up now. This would be positive 1. This would be 0. So to change from negative 2 to 2 without crossing 0, that's not possible. And so you can see that this is almost forming a vertical tangent. So because we have this sharp turn, it's not differentiable at this point. So, since f prime of c does not exist, then for the graph on the right side, f prime of c does not equal 0. If you try to find the derivative at this point, it doesn't exist because it's not the French at point c. So the basic idea behind Fermat's theorem is that if the function has a local max or minimum, like we have here, and if it's differentiable or if f prime of c exists at that point, then the slope of the tangent line at those points will be equal to zero, or in other words, f prime of c will be equal to zero. So that's the basic idea behind Fermat's theorem for those of you who are curious about it. So that's going to be basically it for this video. Now for those of you who want more practice problems, on derivatives, applications of derivatives, even limits, or how to calculate the value of a definite integral, or just basic integration overall, feel free to check out the links in the description section below this video. I'm going to be posting more content there for those of you who want extra problems on related topics. So feel free to take a look at that when you get a chance.